What's good? What's good, you two? Your father comes to real bad. Tan man today. Another video, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make a thumbnail, y'all. People constantly ask me, how do I make my thumbnails? What apps do I use? Listen, I'm about to teach y'all today. Hold on, man, say, let me get right. This is my special hat, y'all. I promise you, y'all gonna see in the next video. It, I promise you, this is a special hat. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna be showing y'all the steps on how to make a thumbnail. So stay tuned. You just watch me get that out of my hair, bro. What is you looking? Yeah, man, I'm gonna be showing y'all the steps of how I make my thumbnail. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you new. Like the video, and we about to go crazy. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, y'all. Step number one. I'm gonna tell y'all all the apps y'all need. I got my apps right here on my tablet, my iPad. The thing that I do use for my thumbnails, you can use your iPhone, you can use whatever. But I prefer my iPad because it's a bigger surface. You feel me? First and most important app ever that I use is called Super Impose X. Now, you have to pay for that app. That's only one app. You don't need it. You don't absolutely need it. But I advise you to get it. If you really want to go crazy on a thumbnail, get Super Impose X. App number two, we got PixArt. Fonto coming in at number three stuff. So, so them is the three main apps you need. Don't ask anybody else. You don't need nothing else. I promise you, you can work with that and you'll have one of the best thumbnails ever. You feel me? So we about to get into step number three. All right, man, for step number three, I prefer everybody to make their thumbnail after the video that you make. Always make your thumbnail after the video you make. It's attention. So what I need you to do is, depending on what video you make, make a thumbnail to where it relates to the video. Here, you can do anything, man. Like you have to make a separate video, and it's just gonna be you making poses. Whatever pose you like, you screenshot it, and then work from there for your thumbnail. So always, always, always. Make your thumbnail after. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna be my main thumbnail. This is what I'm about to do. Make sure you know what you're doing for your. That's a blue jay. Next, all right, so, so look. This is gonna be my main thumbnail. Really about to get to your pickle chin now, boy. All right, man, once y'all pick your thumbnail out, you want to go to superimpose x then this where the magic happens if you pick your thumbnail it's going to ask you this screen i'm about to screen record three two one boom right here you want to take out that black part go ahead you want to crop out that black part and then you got this once you got this you want to duplicate the layer you want to tap on the layer that you want to duplicate once you do that top layer you go over you just slide it out come back to the layer you want to go to editor you want to go to effects motion blur oh hold on wrong one go to the bottom layer my bad go back to the bottom layer you go to motion blur now honestly y'all see how it looks you see the background how i'm moving it you can do your motion wherever you want wherever you want so once you're done with the motion blur for the background you want to go back to your top layer do you want to go to mask you want to go to the one that looks like a um a cowboy um rodeo and then once you're done with that you just outline outline yourself i'm gonna speed up the process y'all <laughs> all right once y'all done outlining yourself y'all want to go to transform and just bring yourself over 
yourself. Hey, why take me so long to do that? All right, so once I'm done with that, you want to go to cast shadow for your top layer. And then this is where the magic happens. This is really where the magic happens. I know y'all see that background now. This is where you get your shadow. Look, oh my God. What color are we going with y'all? I ain't do red in a minute. Y'all wanna see the colors? Oh my goodness. Going red, y'all. So once you're done with that, you know, you can do whatever amount you want. You feel me? I always go all the way. You gotta go all the way with it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Once you do that, that's really what I'm what I do. That's it. That is literally it for Super Impose X. If you want to get fancy now, you go to editor, you go to tools, you go ahead, slide over, go to mass outline. Now, if you play Fortnite, you can get sweaty with it. You can literally get sweaty with it. Now, I honestly don't think I need that. Like, I don't like that on my thumbnails. You can really go crazy with that, though. I don't like that. So, y'all can do whatever. I'm going to start on something else. You go to this little plus sign. You go to photo layer. At the, all the way at the bottom, colors. Go ahead, pick any color you want. I say red and white. Let me see this. Add it. Say yes, fix it. You want to go to transform, go to fit to canvas. And then you want to go back to layers, go to blend, go to overlay, go to overlay. You come back. Now you're going to drag the middle picture. You want to see? I'm working magic right now, y'all. I might just, I might, I might get sweaty with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. So what y'all wanna do, y'all wanna save it, slide out of there. Then we go to Pixar. Let's go. Second part of your thumbnail. Ooh. Once you to Pixar, the main thing you wanna do right now is go to FX, well, effects, FX. You go to HDR. Y'all see how it look? It look more sharp. Like it got a, it got a good feeling to it. Go ahead, add that, and then do whatever to your thumbnail. Just think about what it, what your thumbnail need. I usually do stickers and stuff, but honestly, what I really want people use smoke in their in their thumbnail. It's this one right here. Go ahead, click that. Then you go to shadow. Go ahead, bring that up. Make sure it's the darkest one. What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use red. And then you go crazy. Go ahead, go to this. Duplicate layer. And go crazy. Y'all want that little box around it? All right. Go to y'all got to type in DDG. I don't know why it's called DDG, but y'all see it. Y'all see everyone, everyone. I usually go for the darkest one though, y'all. I really go for the darkest one. But I like this one. You want to go to shadow. Always use shadow on everything you do. Everything needs a shadow. Everything. Do whatever y'all want, honestly. I usually do this twice. I ain't gonna lie. But not yet, not yet. This is where I get to thinking. Like, what, what else do my thumbnail need? This is where you go to Fonto. If you can't think of nothing else, Fonto will do it for you. Go back to Pixar. You want to save your draft. I know. 
my thumbnail is pretty weird but you got to go all the way down clear background add it to your photos i don't know why honcho been doing this but you need to come back it's gonna look like this pretty weird right we gonna say how to make we just gonna say how to make we're gonna bring it out here any font you want to any font once you create your color pattern go crazy however you want it all right boom like that or you can really go crazy now the fonts i you have to download fonts if y'all want me to tell y'all how to download fonts got gotcha. y'all Boom. You want to save it, image as PNG. Come back to PixArt. Here, boom. Like these. There we go. Y'all can make it any color y'all want. Literally the background, y'all can make any color. We going like that. Now we about to go crazy. You all want to type in sunburst. Go to the black and white one. And then y'all want to bring back the opacity like that. Go to eraser. Just erase your whole body out of it. All right, now you want to go to retouch. And now that the whole thumbnail is based off of red, you want to go to skin color. I just learned this. I literally just learned this. What is this? Yeah, I literally just learned this, y'all. Go to skin. I mean, I said skin color, skin tone. Go to the rainbow. Now, go to red. Red I got in my picture. Really can color the whole background red. We could go crazy like that. We could go crazy like that. That's the new method, y'all. Literally the new method. Oh, we looking good, y'all. This is how I make my thumbnails. This is literally how I make my thumbnails, y'all. Then you want to go to FDR, F, F, HDR, my bad. Dang. I like to erase my face because it be looking too. Erase something off the fingers. Literally all I do. Literally how all I do. Go to next. Now, sometimes I use Lightroom. I just make it, I just want my thumbnail to pop out, y'all. So, go to light. This is where you can start going crazy. Make it look good, y'all. Now, we're Always want your clarity up. Now, this will make your thumbnail look great. See, if it look like this, it look like it don't look realistic. You bring your clarity up, y'all. It make everything look so real, regardless of what your thumbnail look like.
All right, once you're done with that, I think I'm done, y'all. Save it. And then you're done with your thumbnail. This is my final product. We came from this. This is how I make my thumbnails, y'all. This is literally how I make my thumbnails. But as y'all can see, this is literally the only thing I do to make my thumbnails. You can go to this, to this, in a matter of a couple minutes, y'all. That's crazy. If y'all want to see more videos like this, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to explain it more. But this is how I make my thumbnails, y'all. Uh, Y'all want more videos like this? Hit me up in the comment section below. And I got y'all. Like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Road to 10K. We out.